Hello friends, I am here Kripa Shankar once again with you. We would like to inform you that the content on studentsrunway.com is exclusively compiled for distribution solely on studentsrunway.com. You may use the content for personal learning or pass it on to your friends, but please do not use it for any commercial or institutional use without acquiring prior authorization. Any tampering of watermarks of studentsrunway.com or Krupa coaching is liable for legal action. This is Krupa signing off. Thank you very much. All the best. This is simply a picture of alluvial deposits. A-L-L-U-V-I-A-L. -L -L. Alluvial. Earthly is the simple synonym. Alluvial deposits means <coughs> made up of alluvium. Now alluvium simply means sand or clay that is gradually deposited by moving water as uh, along a river bed or the shore of a lake. So alluvium is a deposit of sand and clay. Alluvial therefore simply means earthy. <coughs> this is the picture of a monk seeking arms. A-L-M-S. <coughs> A-L-M-S. Arms means anything given away to poor people, money, food, clothes, etc. So the synonym for the word arms is charity, donation, a relief, or simply some handout. A handout, H-A-N-D-O-U-T, is a gift of food, clothing, etc. to a beggar. And the dress this man, the monk, is wearing can be called a cowl, C-O-W-L. A cowl is a monk's hood or a monk's cloak. The, 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 in this picture you are seeing he is wearing uh, uh, an ochre robe. O-C-H-R-E. Ochre. Ochre is what we otherwise know as uh, saffron. Ochre is dark yellow actually. So we discussed the monk, arms, ochre, saffron color and C-O-W-L. The cowl is a dress which actually comes with a hood as well, a monk's dress, a monk's habit, H-A-B-I-T. Remember this word habit has an interesting second meaning which we are not familiar with. H-A-B-I-T habit means a particular costume showing a status or rank or a distinctive religious costume. That is a monk's habit. Now this picture you can see the cat looking the other way and it is very aloof. That means uh, remote, reserved, uh, detached, standoffish. It's uh, not uh, showing interest in interacting with the girl there in the picture. It's very reserved and cool, standoffish. S-T-A-N-D-O-F-F-I-S-H which means reserved and aloof and distant, indifferent, reserved. These are the synonyms. Now this is another picture of a person who is very aloof. A-L-O-O-F Distant, remote, reserved, detached, unapproachable and standoffish, unresponsive. Now here your picture, you are, you are in this picture seeing the, the word platform. What we are interested in di 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 discussing is tectonics, T-E-C-T-O-N-I-C-S. Uh, tectonic uh, means basically having to do with construction, architectural, tectonic. But when you add the word tectonics, S to that, uh, it is the study of the earth's crustal structure and uh, the forces that produce changes in it, that is tectonics. There are several tectonic plates uh, on the surface of the earth and the movement of these tectonic plates results in earthquakes. Now the word al also here is, uh, 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 the word that we are looking at also is alpine, A-L-P-I-N-A. Alpine actually means hills. Of course, these tectonic plates, wherever they merge and hit to strike each other, 
you have the alpine system a l p i n e alpine means mountainous snow capped now the next one is simply a picture of the alpine regions a l p i n e simply means mountainous hills actually this is somewhere near uh, vienna austria switzerland this is an alpine retreat r e t r e a t a retreat <coughs> in a very simple sense simple sense is going backward withdrawal but here we are talking about a safe quiet and secluded place that's a retreat a period of retirement or seclusion especially for spiritual renewal such a place can be called a retreat of course the word retreat also refers to a residential institution for the care of the mentally ill or aged so this is an alpine retreat now this is simply alpine snowboarding equipment there's not much to discuss here this is a picture uh displaying or giving you a sense of alpine tranquility it's so peaceful there is a tarn here actually t a r n we came across this word earlier tarn is a small lake especially one that fills a cirk c i r q u e c i r q u e cirk means a circular space or arrangement and actually it's a steep uh, hollow excavation high on the mountain side made because of uh, glacial erosion and therefore it looks like a natural amphitheater and if this thing gets filled up with water that is a tarn so this is an alpine tarn and you see the ambience here is very tranquil t r a n q u i l tranquil means free from disturbance calm serene free from all agitation that is tranquil this is a picture of alpine tranquility hello friends kripa shankar here again with you we thank you for your interest in kripa coaching and studentsunway.com if you find our content useful please like us on facebook follow us on twitter and subscribe to our youtube channel and hope we hope you give us a plus 1 on google you can also subscribe to our email list and be notified upon new updates thank you this is kripa shankar signing off good luck